Hey, good morning, everybody. Sarasota Tim coming to you from the home base camp here, base camp number two in beautiful South Florida in Boynton Beach. And uh, this is the, another moment that we've been waiting for. I have uh, received my Sanopy, like canopy, um, 10 by 10 easy up. And so this is going to be a, an addition uh, to the teardrop camper that I'll be traveling in uh, after um, about one more week uh, when I see my doctor one last visit about my eye and I get the all clear, I will be um, traveling around the United States as far as I can go, as many places I can enjoy with this. And this is kind of just a, um, a type of an RV that you sleep in. And there's a, a kitchen in the back called a galley. So you kind of uh, work with it on the outside during the day and with cooking and sitting and all that kind of thing. There is an awning that you have, but mainly uh, for the interior of it, it's strictly a, a, a bedroom, a place to sleep uh, with air conditioning and heat. Uh, with TV, so it's very nice little motel room, uh, but um, to have something to sit outside, to be out of the element that I can stand up in, that I can use for privacy, changing room, anything I wanna do, I purchased this here. So we're gonna set it up right now and uh, give you a little tutorial on how it works and um, how difficult it is about with using it for one person because this, uh, this thing right here is a, an enclosed room that came with my teardrop camper that connects to the awning, but it's extremely difficult for one person to uh, put up. So I'm not gonna be using that. I, I thought this would be a heck of a lot easier, and I'm sure it will be. So it's a heavy duty unit. It's not a real chintzy one. I got a great deal on it for a hundred bucks. $110 actually, and these are um, th these are kind of expensive. They're over a couple of hundred dollars easily uh, when you buy the ones that are the straight leg and that have, um, it has the four sandbags that you put on the legs. It has the vented roof on the top and it has four side curtains, uh, two that open up right down the middle with a zipper and two that have plastic clear uh, four window panes. So it's white and it's very nice. So let's get to it and uh, see how it looks all set up and how difficult it is uh, to put up just by myself. Now, the first time I put it up, I have to put the, uh, the, the tent on the roof uh, for the first time. After that, it stays on there. You just open it up. So the first part will be actually assembling it a little more steps than uh, generally uh, you'll have to do, but let's get at it. All right, so now uh, before I begin, I, I did put my microphone on. Uh, so that I uh, can be away from the camera a little further. I'm going to be doing this by myself, and that way I won't lose the audio as I turn the camera around and set it up on the top of the truck here and show you um, this area right here where I'll probably be setting it up. My idea is uh, it may not work right here. It's a 10 by 10, but wherever I go camping, I want it to be basically set up you know, within a couple of feet of the door of the uh, teardrop. Uh, because I want to be able to walk from that in case of inclement weather or something right into a shelter, a room. Also, I'll be using these chairs on the inside that I can have facing this door and I can even move my TV that I have to the um, doorway and can sit here and watch TV if I want. Uh, not to mention I have stereo speakers. Uh, I might use it near and move it right outside the back of the galley could be another area of, of putting it uh, so that I have my stereo speakers here and I can also um, you know use it for shelter while cooking. So let's, uh, let's unpack it. All right, let's get this thing unzipped, see what we have here. Like I said, it is white. And the first thing that I see that we have is I think maybe the four side curtains right here. Uh, this I believe could be the actual uh, roof canopy. And I don't see the little sandbags. Maybe they're in that other bag. The little, um, uh, let's see here. 
They might be in the middle here. Yeah, here they are. Here's some of them. No, that's some stakes and some guy line uh, that you can use instead of the sandbags if you want. And I do not see the... Uh, must be in those other bags there. No, here they are. Here they are. These are the four. I'll show you how they work. These you have... You open them up, and the Velcro is very good. And there's two sides, there's one here and one over here. And you just pour sand. Now this one is a little bigger, this one looks a little wider. I don't know why they did that. Well, maybe they're the same. One looks slightly bigger than the other. Anyway, the, uh, this, this here Velcro's around the legs of the uh, tent itself and then um, these weight down the uh, tent so that the wind doesn't blow it over and you have in addition the stakes and guy lines and I also have four more of those bags that I ordered so it's not going anywhere now let's get it out of the, the cover here looks nice here's the contraption here I'll just go ahead and move my camera to where it's facing uh, over here. I'll move that closer in just a moment. Get these chairs out of the way. I had them leaning back for uh, when it rained. Dry my towel out. So I don't know if I have 10 by 10 here. Probably don't. So I probably have to work within, might even have to move my truck up. Uh, let's see here. Three, six. I do not have 10 feet. I'm probably going to have to place that, pull this truck up and place it right in here as a mock-up to see how it, how it works. So let's turn this off and I'll be right back. All right, let's, uh, let's give, this a thing, give it a try here. Simply place it down, and uh, the trick to this is to put it on one leg of the four uh, and just sort of pull it out. <laughs> Look at that, huh? And then we're going to um, not open it completely, about three quarters, and then we'll put the, the roof over it. Again, just lifting it back on the one leg. You want to lift up the other three legs. Look at that. Now let's proceed to uh, get the roof out on it. Hi. Let's see if this is it or if this is the uh, side curtains. Find out. Everything is white. And this definitely looks like, uh, oh, it looks like the uh, side curtains for sure. It's not the roof. All right. So let's go with this one here now. Here we go. Open it up. Light enough. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the roof, and oh, it has a little leg for the legs. These go down the legs. It's decorative, and also it uh, snaps on. Let's open this up here. Yeah, you put it right out here. Mr. Luke here is going to help me out. Uh, just get the uh, the canopy on. I want to demonstrate how one person can do it, but we need two people to just put the top on. So, I guess it's square, so it wouldn't matter how we do it, just get it over, open it up, open this up.
we just drape it over any way we can and get these over each leg. That goes down the legs, but uh, we just want to put these over the corners. Go all the way over with it. Let's go all the way over. Let's pull it over here, all the way across. Just drape it all the way across. And then I have one right there. And this goes here. And this goes here. And when we open it all the way up, it'll... Corners are on. <coughs> here. Where's the corner? Yeah, here. Yeah, right here. All right. So, all four corners are on. Right. So I put the velcro here on the corner. Okay. Got it? Yeah. I put the velcro on uh -huh. this one too. When the velcro is on, it's easier after. Yeah. That's what we do, we just do that. Is that how it goes? I already did pull it up some, it should be okay, but if we have to, let's see here. Those are the curtains. Hey Catherine, smile you are in camera. All right, now, uh, how did you do that? You uh, went all the way around with it like that? Okay. Now let's just pull it out 10 by 10. Everybody grab a leg and just stretch okay, it out a little. Trick when you are by yourself, I am going One to leg, I know, I, I, I know how to do it, but I just want to get this out okay. since I've got you guys help. Pretty big, huh? 10 by 10. Yeah, I like this size. All right. Then we actually snap those up, huh? Yep, snap those puppies in. You just have to push Oh, you push the, you push the uh, red button. First, yeah. Oh, okay. I see what you're doing. I appreciate the tutorial. Mm -hmm. I think that this, you just make sure it's up. I think it's already in, huh? No, see, there's a, I see it. Yeah, now it's in. All right. Oh, that's nice and taut. And now That's you pretty. want to make sure it looks okay. everything looks good. You like the way it's set up. Or? Right. Looks pretty square. Yeah. So is far. This, is this coming or is this second? Oh uh, yeah. You make sure this is completely down. Okay, I didn't do a good job. Let's drop yeah. this. Is it nice and yeah. on the squares? Perfect. Yeah, perfect. And now we want to just raise it. Okay. No, you do, the easiest thing is to put your foot like on here. See what I mean? You're One right? level, okay? Okay. And once again, foot here. Well, you're holding the rag here. There you go. Okay, you go. and when you want to put down, you just have to do. Okay, but it goes up further yeah, than that. Yeah, okay. And this is the one put, level, okay? Yeah. You can put higher than this. Uh, let, me get the, let me bring you guys in. Sorry about the, uh, I don't know what kind of view you had, but look, this is great. I mean, I'm in the shade already. Let's look at it from back here a little bit. It has these nice decorative little straps that uh, will Velcro down at the bottom there. Look, and then this, can, then when it's on, then you want to Velcro these on. Oh yeah, we got to go around and do all of those. All, and then once you've done it once, then you don't have to do it again. Those stay on? Yeah. You don't have to take them off when you put it down? No. no. All right. So we're going to be putting these around. They'll help me with that. And everything is nice around here. I see to fix these a little bit better on these corners. Okay. Those here and there. Okay. This thing is fitting like a glove. It really is. Yeah. This is very nice. And then we got the side curtains. They uh, provide this Velcro all the way around this bottom oh, this to make like to make this easy, and we're going to begin that right now. I think, I think this is as tall as it goes. Yeah. No, really? I think so. Let's see. 
They're thinking that might be as tall as she gets. More? I think there's three, I read. Oh, okay. Only a few inches apart. This is two. Two is good. Yeah, it's got to be a certain height for the uh, curtains not to drag the floor. Correct. Yeah. All right. Oh, nice. Now go under here. Let, me, uh, let me show the uh, community what we're talking about here. So these little decorative uh, strips here that go down, go hook down. right on down here, right in the, uh, yeah. the foot peg. And so you have this handsome thing here to block the hardware. <laughs> this is very pretty, the white. So many of them are blue and everything. This is very nice. Huh? The sanopy, like canopy. I like it. And we're gonna now put up the, uh, there's ones white. with windows and there's ones with a zipper. Uh, I think white is the best color for Florida because sure is. It, it's not too hot. What do those ones with the windows look like? That's just a zipper in the middle. Okay, we'll put this one away for right now. All right, let's get a window one. Let's get a window one, that's so interesting. And while you guys drag it out, I wanna make sure everybody can see it. Oh, that, this is what the windows uh, look like on the curtains. And like I said, we have Velcro all along here. And there's a Velcro top on the curtain itself right here. So that simply. We got Velcro and then we've got a zipper too. In the window ones? Oh, wow. Oh, they unzip for two? air or what? Uh, Luke, is this one or two at your end? Uh, I'm looking, yeah, we have two right now. Do you have two pieces there? Yeah. It's okay if it drags the ground. Uh, just find the Velcro in and we'll just start sticking it yeah. right on this right here. There you go. It doesn't matter if it touches the ground. And the is there an inside and an outside, do you well, think? Goes on the Look, inside here, Mickey, you're Luke. On this side. Okay. You're on this, you take this one. Uh, correct. You are correct. Hey, I love it. Ooh. Wow. And then look. Then this goes around here, so it stays in place. Well, the windows are a lot lower uh, than I thought, and bigger. We and could uh, put it we, up one long, one higher. Do yeah. Two yeah, we we probably should. Okay. Luke, let's put yeah. it up one higher. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the thing is, is this one's stretched out as far as... Correct. So let's take these off. It, yeah. Maybe it hooks to something else. Looks going to go up with it another level. I th yeah. think there's three. Do you have... Yeah. yeah. That's perfect. Okay, two, two, and that's on the third one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have two holes showing? Mm -hmm. You do. Exactly. You do, okay. And then look, we just Velcro these puppies on. Lots of height. Lots and of height. Look at Windows. I thought I um, read that that roof had a vent on it, but I don't see it. So it is not vented. Uh, doesn't look like But let's look on the outside now. What are these? Those are the guy line uh, points. And one more on the bottom, please. This is nice. Oh yeah, look at that. And that can come right up, you know, in a different camping position to the teardrop here, to the door, or to the behind the galley. I can even snug it right up over the camper maybe and have the galley be underneath, you know? It could come up in the back. Yeah, oh yeah. And uh, I have to say that some people can just sleep on it inside. It's well protected. Yeah. Really cool. So you can have one curtain up, all four curtains up. You can do anything you want. Like I say, you got these guy line points here. You can tie it off. And I've got those bags I showed everybody that you can put the uh, thanks very much for your help uh, to Mr. Luke and Catherine. All right. And these are the. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do some more of this myself. I'll put you guys right here. 
and uh, point you up, point you back there to that last, that last wall there. Let me see what I can do. I'll go with one of the zipper ones this time. <clears throat> so it's really simple. You just grab it and you see where the Velcro is. And then we want the Velcro facing out, outward. It goes on real easy. Give it a little, a little tap there. Come all the way to the very end if you want. Look at that. And now what I'm gonna do, show you guys, you can just unzip this in the middle. And you can pull it back. There's a little tie here. After I tie it on the, the stake over here, I'm using the, the Velcro to hold it to the leg. That goes around here. All right. And then I'll show you how you tie the curtain back. Still with me, everybody? Now we're going to pull this back. And first, let me put this extra. Velcro here that holds the curtain together. There's another one here. Make it nice and taut. And I can do a little better job with it than I have, but anyway, let's show you how this ties off right here. Where is the other one that it goes to? I must have it wrapped up in the, oh, there it is. All right, hang on, folks. Don't leave me. Here we go. Now we can pull this and just tie it like, like so. And you can do the same thing with this one and just have it like that. Do you see me? I've been out of the picture for a while. <laughs> It's a heck of a lot easier, I can tell you this right now, than that, that thing in my uh, truck back here, this, this thing. This is nice. Uh, we, need, we can come up a little higher with this. You just put your foot on it, press this button. Yeah, now we got that one lifted up. And I believe, yeah, that one has two holes showing. So it's on the third position. And now it's completely square. That is one big annex room. I know I can put it uh, right over the back of the um, teardrop here. Even with the, uh, even with this up. Even if it just matches up to it somewhere right here. But look at that. And, you know, the Velcro just tears right off. You can put those away and then the, the, um, the legs drop down. And you scooch it together and you leave that roof on it. And it should be relatively easy. Like I say, I have all those bags to weight it down. Uh, I have stakes with the guy line things here. It's a very good quality, easy up. I love the zipper thing here. These aren't, these aren't attached yet uh, to make it nice, but that's somewhat the way it's supposed to look. I didn't do a very good job making it very taut here. I gotta do a better job, but that curtain there with the uh, window is nice. And like I say, if it's really hot, you'll probably leave them off or one as a blind, but you definitely need some airflow, so. But in a torrential downpour, you certainly got uh, a nice room there. I really like it. I think it looks good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I believe I crushed it.